thought I'd uh, put a quick video on the blog today because I sometimes think I just type, you look at pictures, read what I've typed, which sometimes can be a lot of tripe, um, and sometimes it's nice just to kind of connect verbally. So I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about what's happening at the minute, all the things I've got in progress. Um, I'm pleased to say, delighted to say that my thread's arrived, so I'm a happy embroiderer because I've got all my cotton abroad now. And then you saw this yesterday, this still needs to be damp stretched, these are things that are ongoing but I'll damp stretch this today and take it off my board tomorrow, got a fibre on there. Then this is the piece that you saw the other day with the three applique circles and that's ongoing and that's that beautiful little thing that I said looked like a pocket. I don't want to pull in because then you'll lose a lot of the other visuals. Um, that's what I, I think it's like a little pocket and it's got bullion knots up there securing it and I might actually secure it on that corner then it is a pocket to me it's a pocket anyway and this other piece is ongoing um, still needs a lot of surface embellishment but these are working towards my next class that starts in a couple of weeks the uh, embroider embellish create one and I think it will be the fourth running of that class which is absolutely amazing. I can't believe so many people want me to show them how to embroider. So that's fantastic. So for those of you that have done it and those of you that have signed up this time, then, you know, thanks very much because I really do get so much pleasure out of that class, as much pleasure as those that are taking it get. I'm assuming they get pleasure. I'd like to think so. I hope so anyway. So that's what they're all about. And then this is uh, my other cloth. And if you were in my extended embellishment class, then don't worry, you will get a video on this sometime next week on with more detail about what I've done and the processes. So I'm not saying anything on my blog that's public that you're missing out on. In fact, you will get more information next week. I'll be talking to you about a couple of ideas I've got for how you could move yours forward. But just to say, I added, remember I had that on my blog sometime recently. I'd put bullion knots on the edge of a piece of lace. Well that's been added now to the edge of this cloth and that's how that looks on there. And what I really like about how I'm doing this cloth is how I seem to get a lot of folded areas and a lot of overlaying again and we're, we're in pocket territory again I think. I mean that looks like a pocket there but it isn't a pocket, you can't get your hand under there but because of the way I've manipulated it to join sections it looks like I've got a pocket and then what I'm tending to do, what I'm trying to do is add each piece with buttonhole lace so it's adding another dimension to the cloth as I'm working working on it and if you could hold it in your hand like I'm doing which I would allow you to do if you had white gloves on um, then you know you could see clearly these edges okay so that's what that's happened to that at the moment and then there's this other piece here that's in progress, that's perhaps maybe half worked, and then this, there's some open areas in here, okay, up here, and here, and here, and down here, and it's got mirrors on it and bullions, and this again will be damp stretched and then cut up to add to this, okay, so don't anybody cry about me cutting this up, because it's going to go on here, so it's going to be enhanced by being cut up and added to that. So that's basically what I've got going on at the moment. And then I ordered a lot of silk. Do you remember me saying, well, it's come, this is it. So I'm going to share it with you. Now, I have heard of silk net before, but I've never actually had any before. And that's arrived and it is so fine. It's in here. So fine that it was wrapped within other cloth. Okay, now that is just stunning. But what I've noticed about this is that if you've got the tiniest rough area on your fingertips, then it pulls it and it, you know what I mean, it, it uh, plucks it. So I'm going to have to be really careful when I start working with this. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with it. I just knew that I wanted some. So I thought I might back this with it. So I haven't even really investigated that yet, but I actually do think that would probably be beautiful on the back of there. But also, I'm sure there's other things I could do with it that I haven't actually thought of yet. So just by having it and holding it carefully and playing with it, then I will come up with things that I can do with this, I'm sure. And I hope it doesn't become a kind of obsession, silk net, because it is so expensive. 
I only bought half a metre until I'm more confident with how to work with it. And then I ordered some metallic silk tissue. Now, this, because it's metallic, you kind of, there's a lot of threads here, you kind of get silver, gold, um, copper, that kind of thing. You don't do white, black, off-white, ecru, pink or anything like that. It's because it's metallic. But the silver, I think, qualifies as white. And I think, I've worked with this before, very early in my embroidery life, and when I was experimenting for different courses, I have worked with it before, and it is beautiful to work with, and when it's wet, it just transforms it when you actually wet it, and you can pull it, and you know, so it's a fantastic surface to work with. But I'm wondering if I could incorporate it somehow with my other white work, so I've got it now, so when I've got time I can play, I can lay things over this to see how I could use that to develop other work. So that's my metallic silk tissue. So I'll fold it back the way it came. I'll put my silk net very carefully there. Then silk dupion, which I'm sure you've all seen, I ordered quite a lot of that because I use a lot of that. And then this is my silk scrim. Now, to me, it doesn't look like normal scrim, okay? But I'm going to go with it, and I'm going to try and play with it. I'm going to try and launder a little bit of it. I'm going to try and withdraw threads from it. I'm going to see what I can do with this. Again, the bonus of having it here is that I can play with it and investigate its uses. So that's why I've got the silk scrim. And then silk muslin, which I, again, absolutely love. And I have had this before. And this is unbleached. Okay, so I might try and bleach a section of this to see if I can get it back, get it a bit whiter. But I know for a fact that I can pull threads out of here and that I can use this in a manipulating way to create open and light areas. So that's it really, I just wanted to have a little chat with you about that. I think it's it's just nice to have a chat and to, you can sometimes get things across better um, with a little chat as opposed to a load of typed rubbish. So I hope you enjoyed that.